How's it going, nerds? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I hope you're having a good one. I'm excited to be back. We're doing one of these timey wimey, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey hospitals where we're dealing with fish people and reptile people, and it's weird, but I love it. Let's just jump right into it. We actually have a couple of things going on. So we have a staff challenge to get hospital attractiveness of 70%. I guess. I, we can probably try it. We need a clown clinic, which we can't afford, so we'll get the patient to wait. And inventor, entrepreneur, and time travel agent, Captain Yesterday, has just returned from his next but one visit to our hospital and would like to visit our hospital as it is now. Simple, right? If he likes what he sees, we'll appear on the shopping channel and he'll send us some additional funding. Sure. That's, that's not like I have a choice anyway. Now, we need to do a couple of things. We need a clown clinic, so let's get that since we can afford it. We can afford a few things, but we'll get the clown clinic, which can be a four by four room. So let's put it in that corner, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a good place for it. Uh, so we'll put the door there. We'll put the tent thing there, and we can put a cannon, I guess, in the corner as well. <laughs> Why not? Uh, we're gonna do some circus lights as well, because, you know, gotta make the room look kind of nice. We'll put them against, um, I guess against this wall as well, um, which annoyingly is slightly in the way of everything else. Can I move these guys over a little bit? There we go. That looks fine. In terms of other things to add here, we're gonna need a radiator, which I guess can live there. We can get a fire extinguisher. We can do a nice plant. And I think that'll be fine. So that's going to be the clown clinic. And in terms of other things, I mean, we have 25,000 right now. And we probably do want training. Training, uh, the thing is though, it can be a three by three room and I want something down here that needs to be four by four, such as x-ray or mega scan or pans lab. But I don't think there's any demand for that right now. So... I think we're actually okay as we are, to be honest. I don't think we need to go too crazy with this. So we'll just go ahead and throw some benches in front of the clown clinic. We can go ahead and throw a radiator. Just, uh, I, I guess there. It's probably a good little spot for it. And we can probably do some drinks machines or a drinks machine over here. So we'll put it right about there. We'll do a snack machine next to it. Just so everybody can, you know, get some drinks and some snacks. And uh, I'm going to want to put some bins here as well. So a bin there, and I guess a bin right there. And that'll hopefully keep us in a good way. So we'll go ahead and let that run. And uh, this thing is going to need a nurse. So we'll hire another one. And uh, you're pretty good with treatment. So Lily Pound is going to be working right in there. Now, the good news is that will deal with the Jester infections. And what is this? We didn't promote three members of staff. I mean... I mean, no one, no one deserved it, I guess. I guess none of them, none of them warranted it. Uh, Captain Yesterday is here now. Where, where is, where, where is Captain Yeah, I want to, I need to know what Cap, there he is. So, yeah, you look about like how I expected you would. That's, that's fair enough. Um, what is this? We have a reptile, <laughs> we have a reptile dysfunction emergency. We can't do it though. We need... We need a, uh, a psychiatry room, and we don't have one, so we kind of need a few of those. We might actually need to take a loan, thinking about it, but then we'd also need to hire doctors that can do psychiatry, such as Aaron Doolittle. It's tempting. It's actually very tempting. In fact, you know what? Let's... Wait, are these are my doctors, aren't they? Yeah, so Aaron Doolittle. You, you can deal with it. So... I'll tell you what, we have a bit of money. Let's build a psychiatry uh, room right about there. So we'll do a door. We'll do the chair, I guess, right about there. We'll do the bench or the couch thing right about there. And we can do a changing screen so you can't like see right into the room as soon as you open the door. And we'll do a treatment bookcase, another treatment bookcase, and... Uh, I don't know, I guess a filing cabinet or two. Just to make the room a little bit nicer. Uh, a radiator is probably not a bad idea. Keep the room nice and warm. And a fire extinguisher, not a bad idea either. So, 
we'll get that going. And I think what we'll do, because it seems like we have a few people with reptile dysfunction, is we'll get another one while we can afford it. And then we'll just go ahead and throw some, uh, some sophisticated benches down there. So we'll do one there, there, and there. And uh, that'll be fine, hopefully. Now, hospital attractiveness is 64%. Can I get it to be higher? Because I'd like to do one of these challenges. I guess a plant there is not a bad idea. I guess a plant over here is, is not a bad idea. We could potentially throw a plant back there. Not a bad idea either. Uh, we could do a plant in the corner of the pharmacy since I didn't make it nice at all. So, well, no, hold on. I don't want the yearly review yet. Why can't I place this thing? That's a bit... Why, why can't I put a plant in there? Can I... Do I have to... Oh, I don't have money. That'll do it. That, that'll do... Right, yearly review, please. How are we doing? I feel probably eh, average. All right. Yeah, we... Someone has chewed a rose. A form of thorn-related ailment, often the result of misguided attempts to be cool and or seductive. Alright, well we have 10 grand now, so let me very quickly go ahead and get a nice plant for that corner. And we'll get a plant for in here as well. We're at 68% on attractiveness, which is fair enough. Uh, we'll do a nice plant there. We're at 69% on attractiveness. <laughs> nice. Uh, and right about there, maybe... I don't know. Come on. Come on. Where else can I put a plant in here? Where where else can I put a plant? There's got to be... What about here? There we go. That'll do. Okay. So that only gave me happiness. That's... I need money. Happiness only goes so far. <laughs> I need... I need... I kind of needed money. I mean, I, I guess, I guess that's the way. To, what's wrong with this thing? Oh God! <laughs> Hold on, I need to sell that. Um, yeah, we we kind of we kind of need money. Happiness is is nice and all, but hmm, money would be better. Uh, now, Doctor Doolittle, I kind of need you to do me a favor. I kind of need you to only really work in clinics and not, you know, general practice. And then we'll hire Elvish Bench to work the GP's office. Elvish Bench. That's a name, I guess. These queues outside the GP's offices are starting to get real, real bad. We do have GPs. We just don't have enough of them. So we might actually need to take a loan. We really might. I don't, I don't like taking loans, but I think we're kind of going to have to. I'm not sure that I can afford it, but we're going to take it. We have 132,000. So let's buy this plot of land. And... Oh, I don't know if I want to buy that one as well. We do need to own two of them, so I'm going to buy that one as well. So that's going to be two plots of land that we now own. We can put more GP's offices out there. In fact, I might... I might go so far as putting a bunch of GP's offices in one of them. And then in the other one, we put a bunch of diagnosis rooms. That might not be a bad idea. It might not be a good one, but at this point, I'll kind of try anything. Get a level five staff room. No. We barely have money. What do you, what do you want from me? I mean, you want a level five staff room, I guess, but we barely have money. So what do you want from me here? All right. Oh my God. Okay. So we just, <laughs> we just got a bunch more patience from doing that. What? Hold on. What? Okay, I, I have I have no idea. You don't even look like you belong around in, in this sort of time period here, but okay. Um, yeah, I, I feel like a bunch of GP's offices might not be a terrible idea. So, let me go grab you. Let me copy. And one. And done. So, sell invalid items. Wait, what? What's, what's, what's invalid around here? So, sure. I guess. Uh, we want to grab another one and put it there and approve. We're getting kind of low on money, but I'm hoping this kind of works out. Uh, 6,000 for this one. Actually, no, because we're going to need to get more GPs, aren't we? So, let me get some benches. We're only going to have three, but that's hopefully going to be enough. 
Uh, we'll do a radiator right about there. And we'll do a nice plant kind of next to the radiator, which will... I don't know if a plant next to a radiator is a good idea, but that's what we're going to do. And basically, we need more GPs. So, Benny Lentils, for one. And Charlotte Dork, absolutely, for the other one. And that will take some of the cubes away from the other GP's offices eventually. But then we also need another reception desk, or an expanded reception, basically. That's going to be something, because again, it's money. Now, we've discovered reptile dysfunction, which is treatment in psychiatry. Didn't we already discover that? I thought we'd already discovered reptile dysfunction. I, I, I have no idea. We also have an emergency with six patients. Ugh. I don't know that we want to do this, but we're gonna. We can get Dan Elderflower, I guess. And I guess what we can say is that Dan is... Yeah, we'll, we'll set Dan up to do uh, psychiatry as well. What are you, where are you going? Where? What are you doing? Go back in there. There we go. Okay. So the emergency is going ahead. Hopefully we can deal with it. We do have two psychiatry uh, offices, so we should be all right. Uh, the GPs are still pretty busy, but I imagine having two more of them is going to make it a little bit easier for us. I hope. I, I sincerely hope we are also losing money, which is not good. But I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. We cured five out of the six patients with reptile dysfunction. That's not actually too bad, so I'll absolutely take that. And I'm also thinking that instead of doing a bunch more GP's offices over here, why don't we go ahead and copy cardiology and put another cardiology room over here. So we can do one in that corner, for example, and we can approve it. And then we can do... Oh, what way are we going to do this? I'm not 100% I'm not sure what exactly we're going to do, but we can do cardiology, we can grab general diagnosis, and we can put it in that corner, and I think that'll be pretty good for us. Uh, we could grab another pharmacy, but I don't think we need another pharmacy, so I think just having two more diagnosis rooms there is going to be pretty good. We could look into things like fluid analysis, which is high-tech diagnosis. X-ray is also high-tech diagnosis. I I feel like fluid analysis is probably not a bad idea, right? I, I don't, I don't feel like it's, a, it's a terrible idea. So we'll, we'll do it. We don't, I, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's probably fair enough. So we'll do fluid analysis. We'll keep it there. Uh, we can do servers in here as well, which give us research power. I think it's probably a little bit expensive for my, uh, my tastes, but we could. We'll just do a plant for now, I guess. And a, uh, a fire extinguisher as well. It's probably not a bad idea for that room. So fluid analysis can live there. And then maybe, maybe another pharmacy, maybe another GP's office. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really too sure. We, we do also need toilets and things like that over here and staff rooms too. Probably more so toilets and probably research or sorry, training. I guess we have got another building though. So let's do, um, I guess, what is that? Cardiology or whatever it is. I think it's cardiology. Yeah. I mean, it has a queue right now. So maybe, maybe another one of those. We do have general diagnosis. Let's, eh, let's hold off. Let's, let's hold off and see what we end up needing. Uh, we are going to need, what is this? Another nurse and another nurse. So... Let's grab, uh, well, none of you are particularly good at, uh, diagnosis, but you'll do in there. And then we'll go ahead and grab some benches. We'll do one, we'll do two, and then we need to do three and four, and we'll do another room in there. Because what I can do here is I can throw a radiator up at the end of this, and I'm hoping I can do a drinks machine here. I absolutely can. So a drinks machine and a snack machine, and that'll be fine. So that'll just be a little corridor where people can wait for things. And that'll hopefully work out. Hopefully that improves diagnosis, which hopefully that improves treatment at some point. It's a bit of a cramped corridor, but we'll not worry too much about it. 
I think it's probably fine. And I guess what we can do as well while we're here is go to rooms, go to toilets, and I'm not thrilled about doing this, but it's it's pretty much what we're going to do. We'll do this kind of thing. We can do a door there. We can do toilet cubicles one, two, and three. Someone just died. I'm not happy about that, but it's whatever. Uh, we'll do something like this. Then hand dryers can be there and there. Can I get a bin? I, I don't know what I can get in here. Radiator, please. Sure. I guess that's as good as it's going to be. That's that's about as good as it's going to be, and it'll do the job. Okay. So, that's not too bad, honestly. That is that is not too bad. We have a lot of training required, though. Um, so, level get a level 5 room in general. No, we're going to promote you. We're not going to train anybody right now. We do kind of need training, though. So, let's try to get some money. Let's see what happens in terms of diagnosis and all that, because we do still have a bit of a queue in that GP's office, or we did have one. Uh, we do still have some, you know, demands for nurses and things like that in different rooms. So, and we are losing money. That loan that we took might, might not be doing us any favors. So the GP's offices still have some pretty, pretty chunky queues outside of them, and so does the fluid analysis room as well so i think getting another one of these guys might be a bit of an idea and i guess going ahead and flipping some things around here is not a bad idea either so we'll do something like that we'll get ourselves another nurse to run that and i guess what we can also do is get some training rooms because we do have a little bit of money and we also have another reptile dysfunction emergency so we'll accept that and we'll not train you yet. We are about to start looking into training, but not just yet. Uh, so we'll do this. And we'll set just two training rooms up over here, I guess. Um, so one, two, three, four. We're not going to be training too many people at any one time anyway. And what does this do? 2% training speed. 4% training speed. It's 4,000 for this thing, though. But we'll try and get two of them. So that gives us an 8% uh, bonus. And if I get two more, as expensive as it is, 16% increase in training speed. Not a bad thing. Definitely not a bad thing. So we'll do that right there. We'll do a fire extinguisher next to it. We'll do a plant, I guess, I don't know, by the door or something like that. And that's, that's fine for a training room, I think. So that'll be okay. Obviously kind of expensive, but it means we can start looking into psychiatry too, for example. So these guys can both be, you know, promote or trained up, uh, except it's expensive. It is, it is kind of expensive to do that. So maybe not. What else can we go for? So courses available. I don't know why it's only giving me psychiatry too there. Uh, diagnostics three, radiology, research, general practice two is probably not a bad idea. So elvish bench. We'll go and train you. We'll get that going. It's not, you know, there's no goal. It's not that I need to do it right now. But we might as well. Oh, hello. We are a one-star hospital, which is fantastic. We also got a reptile dysfunction painting. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fair enough. Uh, now, to be a two-star hospital, we need to upgrade four machines. Hospital attractiveness of 60% and cure 50 patients from time portals. Now, that's achievable. That is that is definitely achievable. Uh, how are we doing for awards right now as well? It's, we, we certainly, we certainly haven't had no deaths. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a bit of a struggle on this one, I think, but uh, we'll see how it ends up going. Good news is that we have a bit of money the bad news is that my GP's offices are still absolutely packed with people. So, let me go ahead and change some things here. Let me edit this guy, and I'm going to move it, right? I'm going to move it to there, and I'm going to confirm. I'm going to edit this guy, move it to there, and I'm going to confirm. And I'm going to copy it and put it right there. 
And I think that'll be all right. So that gives us three GP's offices. There's not a lot of room along here for much right now, but that's okay. We can make this just kind of a nice-ish area to be in. And uh, we could maybe do... Maybe we just do a staff room in here. So that staff don't have to go quite as far to go and chill. So if I grab this room and I copy it, I swing it around a bit. Uh, we can put it there. And honestly, it's it's not too expensive. It is a bit of a different size to the training room next to it, but honestly, that's fine. So we'll do that for a staff room. It frees up some space over here, which is probably needed. And it also gives us room for more just general diagnostics or general diagnosis uh, rooms over here, both in the sense of actual general diagnosis uh, and also whatever else we might need. So we have the extra GPs there. So why don't we go ahead and grab another cardiology and we'll do a cardiology room right there. And we could grab another general diagnosis, perhaps. I don't know if we need it is the thing. I'm really not so sure. What if we grab a pharmacy? Is it got a queue? It doesn't really. We could grab another psychiatry room, actually. It is treatment rather than diagnosis, but probably not the worst thing in the world to have another one of these guys. I think we are probably going to need it. And then what we can do is go to items. We can go to benches. We can do, you know, a bunch of benches sort of down this wall a little bit and see how that plays out. We can do a nice radiator to keep people nice and warm over in uh, those areas too. We can do a nice radiator down here by the bin so that you get a great smell throughout that part of the hospital. And that should be fine. Over here, people are absolutely going to complain about temperature. So we'll do a radiator there, there, and there. We'll do one up here as well. This bit's going to be kind of warm, but they'll deal with it. And uh, that's probably all right. So in terms of things over here, we'll just do some benches in front of all of the offices, as we always do. And I think opposite the benches, well... I guess more benches. Okay, this looks good enough for me. This place has a queue of, oh, who died? Who died? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, we're terrible. We're just terrible. Now, Dicky Pucker. Let's hire him, what a lad. Uh, we also managed to do that, which is great. Hospital attractiveness, 65%. Hopefully, the extra GP's office finally starts to do some things. Uh, I'm also thinking Alfred Dork. We're going to hire you as well, mate. Uh, we're going to put you here. And I think I can immediately train you, right? So immediately, you're going into psychiatry. And I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's have one of the psychiatrists train you. And let's have all of my doctors. Or some of my... Let's have the student doctors capable of doing that as well. That, that seems like a pretty good idea. That's going to hurt the, the GP's offices for a bit. But it's going to mean that we have more doctors in general able to handle psychiatry. And I think that's going to be a good thing. So, hopefully that works out. Hopefully that doesn't end up being a complete disaster. And hopefully we can get people through these GP's offices and into just treatment. Because as it stands right now, things are... Go 90 days without a death. You're funny. You're funny. Benji Fop. You're funny, mate. We'll, we'll try it, but, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't see it happening. Now, this is something interesting that I hadn't really thought about until this point. We can increase the prices of everything. And I'm going to increase everything by 10% is what I'm going to do to try and make a little bit more money just a little bit i don't know i i don't know if it's gonna do too much for us it might annoy people but i'm hoping that a small price increase will just help us sort of cover everything i don't i don't know that it will also that's yeah well that 90 days without a death thing is uh is just going great i think we just had two deaths at the same time there actually so yeah 90 days without a death is looking to be real promising right now it's going, it's going well, is, is what it is. It's going, it's going super well. It'd be nice if it was going better. It'd also be nice if this, there we go. 
we've managed to uh, complete the psychiatry thing. We also have promotions, so we'll promote everybody. They can all head out and do their thing. And hopefully, some of you are going to go work in some GP's offices, even though you're now psychiatrists. At the very least, it might bring the queues down. We should also have people coming over here. It looks like, it looks like we're going to be all right. So, we have you working in here. We have you guys going and working over there. I'll take it. That's, that is at least something. The queues are still horrendous for the GP's offices, but at the very least, we have some psychiatrists. And it looks like we're making some money as well. Uh, a patient has refused to pay 7,700 for treatment of reptile dysfunction. Maybe prices are too high. So, if they refuse to pay, do we just, like, give them the ailment again? Is, is, is that... I don't imagine that's how it works, but, uh... It'd be interesting if it did, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, we, we didn't complete that. What a, what a surprise that we didn't manage to go 90 days without a death. I'm shocked. I think we can go ahead and leave it there for today. It's certainly interesting playing this particular hospital in Two Point Hospital. It's, it's one that I wasn't expecting to be this much of a challenge, but it is proving to be one and I'm actually really enjoying it. So hopefully you are as well. It's, it's different. It's, it's certainly different. I do think that when we're done with this hospital, we're going to go back and do tumble, but I'm, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. I really am. Uh, I've also gone ahead and told all my janitors to go and upgrade all of the different machines that we can upgrade right now. So the upgrade four machines challenge is going to be done by the time the next episode comes about, which means we might have a couple more people traded and uh, hospital attractiveness is just going to be something that I need to work on either way. It's all stuff to work on, so we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.